Hello, my friends. I bid you welcome to Gollum Island, and we are gonna get our feet somewhat wet and jump out to this boat here. And we are gonna force our teammates to get wet as well while they jump into the e boat. And we are going to deploy to Gollum Island, the also known as the Raid Island, because this is the location of the Ghost Recon Raid. So now you think. Wait a minute, this is not a multiplayer game. Those are AI teammates you got going with you. And AI teammates doesn't really stand much of a chance of completing the raid, do they? Do they? Well, I think Ubisoft would agree with you on that score. I don't think they consider that um, AI teammates is a suitable suitable replacement for actual players in the raid. However, since they made Gollum Island, I feel that they might actually want people to actually see it. And for that reason, they have actually turned a large part of uh, Gollum Island into a single-player experience that can be used and experienced in single-player. So we are going to... There's something up there that's, that that is... Yeah. Tango down. Keep it going. The two scent race wolves. Tango down. Sentries are gone. So, whoops. Tango down. Let's keep it going. So let's climb that ladder. And as you can see, the raid instance is uh, over there, but we are heading up these ladders to the raid, to the single player portion of the experience. So, I hope we don't fall down. Falling down from this would really fucking hurt. I get vertigo from this. So, the Titan program. Let's go. Got some scale credits from this, and now we can. Uh, check out the island and the first place we are going to have to do is sector zero one destroy the data server on the satellite dish So we are going to set up a beacon so we know roughly which way to go There will still be hostiles in the area and we need to still be very careful about this So our mission for today will be to destroy the satellite dish and that is something, if you remember, was something that I actually failed to do with a raid with Ubisoft people a while back. We spent like three hours on that boss, and we didn't kill him. And it was frustrating as all hell. Uh, Tango's dead ahead. I'll have you take... I want you to take Alpha and Bravo. I'll take out the guy in the front, and... Old will be peachy. Tangos are down. There's a drone inbound. I say again, there's an Astriel drone inbound. Take cover. Prep to receive hostiles in case the enemy de does indeed detect us. Oh crap. We are detected. I say again, we are detected. Prepare to receive hostiles. I say again, prepare to receive hostiles. Engage at will. I say again, engage at will. Fall back. Fall back. Well, our attempts to stay inconspicuous on this island just failed. We'll grab what parts we can and head for the satellite dish. More wolves, dead ahead. Suppressing fire.
Tango down. Move up. Reloading. There is a cache right over here. Might want to check it out. Oh, it's, it looks like it might actually be at the end of that ravine. And it, if that's the case, we ain't getting to it. I see him. Tango's down. There might be someone at this tail end of the bridge too. Yep. Just one of them. Let's go. That sounds like a drone. I don't like drones. Vehicle dead ahead and looks like a bunch of lava blocks. So we got the satellite dish up ahead. Whoops, he's always made die, and he's not happy. Go loud, go loud. There, there's somewhere out there. Shit. Watch out, we got hostiles. Copy, we're ready. Keep it going. Watch the top. Move. Here. He's gone. Keep it going. Wolf down. Looks like we have arrived at the command center. Not that there's much here. Sniper! He's gone. Whoops. He's gone. We'll re reload and then we'll try to suppress as many enemies on top as we can as we get up there. Getting up there under fire is going to be an accomplishment. Sniper fire incoming. Ouch. Got a sniper ready to engage us. Well. Damn, respect. Suppressing. Keep up the suppressing fire. Keep suppressing that sniper. We can't climb until that sniper is out of commission. Suppress that sniper before he shoots me off the ladder. God damn it. I'm pinned down. Sniper gone. Looks like the next stage is out of the enemy line of fire. At least until I went up there. <laughs> Let's see here. I'd use a bandage and hope the enemy doesn't rush me too quickly. Well, that they did. Pistol. Careful, Ghost Lead. You need to find some cover. Let's throw another one. He's gone. Keep it going. 
I think we have the objective right up ahead here. Yeah, that looks like the looks like a server that raid mission completed. Let's see what the next stage of this thing might be. Shit, sniper. He's ready to fire. Yeah, first of all, we might actually have to avoid the enemy. He's gone. We need to sweep and clear all the wolves from this area. So that was the first mission. We'll check the objectives board. If uh, so, here are all the other raid missions. You can see here that we have uh, completed two out of thirteen. So there's a lot of behemoths that we might need to take out. And uh, let's kill wolves. Kill wolves. Our next objective is to secure a path onto sector two. So we need to clear out. At least five wolves uh, near the Golem Island heliport. And since we've already taken out the satellite dish, we don't expect these wolves to be able to call for help. So the island contains different objectives uh, destroying the servers, destroying behemoths, and killing HVTs. And that is essentially it. It's uh, not really as. Uh, intricate as the raid and it's not as connected but it's still a way to experience the content without having to uh, try to find a bunch of people who are you are willing to endure the raid with so we did indeed hurt ourselves and i think we're gonna pick up that well we're not we're going to uh, pick up that dude and we're going to throw him a little bit more in the shadows so uh, he's not really there or rather not visible so we need to make sh we got another tango right ahead that's a wolf you know what we might as well just wake up the entire place and kill what we need to kill go loud go loud Watch that sniper. They're calling for backup. We got him. If you're wondering if uh, the night is actually darker, then yes, it is darker. There is a new setting that allows for a much darker night, and I've actually turned it on because it makes uh, night missions that much more fun, since having to rely on light sources and night vision goggles it becomes more imperative. So, we've cleared out most of these wolves, and I'm not going to clear out a behemoth, but you get the gist of what Gollum Island is all about and that is in single player is essentially just 12 missions based on the raid it's not trying to be the raid in single player form and I'm very happy for that uh, rather it's just a way to experience the region and the content and I think that is actually the best way to do it so once the technical update hits you can all do this and you're probably gonna have some fun with it too because running around and exploring and just shooting the shit out of people like that is actually oddly satisfying so that is it for me for this time and i hope you have a great day